Whatever it is, it's not those. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Today, I am getting styled by my best friend and a professional stylist. And we're gonna see who's gonna come up on top. You're basic. That was very inspirational, actually. I'm still learning, Lauren! Does this mean that maybe I could be your best friend? <laughs> Today, Sinead and I are joined by Lauren Messiah. She is a professional stylist. You guys, I've been waiting for this moment. My entire life on this channel, I have pitched it to Bridget every single week. Please send me someone who knows what they're doing. And uh, Lauren's here. I'm excited. No, I'm excited. Are you? Yes. Well, I'm nervous, y'all. I'm in a glass case of emotion. Lauren, you gotta break down your background. Mm -hmm. Like, how'd you get into styling and all of that? Tell us. So I've been professionally styling for 12 years. Okay. <laughs> I started out as a celebrity stylist, but found it more fulfilling to style everyday women, entrepreneurs, moms, ladies just like you. And I've also taken my system for styling and turned it into a book called Style Therapy, so anyone can be their own stylist. Oh, I love it. That. Okay, so both of you guys picked out two looks for me, mm -hmm. one casual, one glam. You know, I'm on the style channel, but for whatever reason, I struggle a lot when it comes to putting like a complete outfit together. So I'm really curious to see what you put together and what you put together. You kind of an advantage because you know me. Yeah, I mean, I may not be a professional stylist, Lauren, but I do have an advantage just because I know you so well. Jackie's style actually is kind of specific, mm -hmm. so I'm just banking on that. I think you have a shot. Don't. I got <laughs> Because <laughs> I was peeping your style. You got some fly style. Oh my god. <laughs> and I, I, Please stop you making me blush. So I actually got on a call with Lauren over Zoom so she could get to know me a little bit more and ask me questions about my style and you'll never guess what she said about my style. You're dressing super basic. Oh How my god. That's not you. I don't want to be basic anymore. <laughs> Give me three words that your best friends would describe you. Sporty, fun. Basic. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She has a lot of pieces that every woman should have in their closet. She has her bodysuits, she has her jeans, she has her sneakers, dresses and jumpsuits and really cool like fancier pieces. You can't put a name on her style because it's so uniquely Jackie. Well, damn Jackie. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm either gonna wear the most boring outfit on earth or I'm gonna be like freaking Cher on the red carpet in like some peacock headdress. <laughs> like there is <laughs> something in between and we can find that. What's your biggest goal career-wise? I sound cheesy. I just wanna like do things that make me happy. I don't have like major goals, but just, uh, but to have a food um, travel show, that would be like the ultimate. There it is, <laughs> there it is. Come on, all right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's say the top dog at the Food Network, what do you want them to assume about you just by looking at you? That this girl is fun, that okay. she's exciting, that she's adventurous, and um, she's not afraid to embarrass herself. Jackie came over, right? <laughs> I can't, it makes me mad! <laughs> Favorite style icons? I don't think you understand who you're talking to. <laughs> How do you feel about Tracy Ellis Ross and her Oh style? my God, she's perfect. Cause it's like not too crazy, but it's also like sophisticated, chill, casual, yet sexy. Anything in particular on your shopping list? Something that you've just really been wanting to have? I've been trying to get like a good pair of leather, black leather pants for forever. Cause I feel like those are so versatile. You can wear them like casually or dressed up. Any brands or stores that you currently like? Zara. Uh, H&M, Fashion Nova every once in a while. I knew you were gonna have strong feelings about that one. <laughs> Meanwhile, so I really love Zara for episodes like this because they kind of have a wide range of things. Just like looking at some of these like halter neck bodysuits, I really like the fit of them. They're a little bit retro and the material is a little bit different. It's not like that cottony material, it's very that like contour sculpt material. I don't necessarily want to change who Jackie is, but maybe just change a little thing subtly here and there. Another store I really love is Misguided. It's affordable, but it's still a little bit higher quality. We're also not made of money. I what was the last awesome thing you bought for yourself clothing-wise? I really love this uh, cute two-piece set that I got from Meniere de Vour that has like cool buckles and strings and stuff. Cause I love matching sets. Jackie loves a good matching set. She's more of a like a jumpsuit person or she likes a very all over thing. So maybe if I change it up a little bit with something like this, maybe not this exact one. I am definitely going to accessorize you. Definitely gonna work in color. I want to see your personality come out through the clothing, but 
not overtake it. So there's still room for you and your personality. To be honest, I actually really like Jackie's style. I don't want her to change it up too much because when Jackie's really comfortable, she like shines in her Jackie way. I just want to see in maybe like some different colors or something like that. Eventually. Round one, the casual round. I'm pretty excited about this here look. I'm so excited. So when clients come to you, is it usually for like a more casual look or what is it mostly for? You know, dress codes have blended so much yeah. that there's not really like work, weekend, right. dressy anymore. So I mostly help my clients find something that's authentic to them nice. and whatever goals they have in their life. So it could be casual, could be dressy. Hmm. What if I want to make like a bunch of money? I would get a little more detailed about your goals mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. we'd start dressing for the woman you're becoming instead of the woman you are right now. That was very inspirational actually. The motivational brigade coming ah. through. This is my interpretation of a casual Love. Jackie. So, <laughs> when we talked, she was giving me fabulous mm -hmm, energy. Mm -hmm. And then she's like, I like to wear beige, and I like to wear black, and I love jeans all the time. I was mm -hmm. like, girl, you basic. <laughs> you basic. <laughs> I wanted to show like the sparkle, mm -hmm. but also the sportiness and casualness of Jackie. And I don't know, I think we're pulling it off. I think it's really Really, really cute. I mean, you hit her color palette, definitely. Yeah. I mean, you can never go wrong with this faux leather pant. I love that. With the sneakers and the t-shirt is one look. Putting a jacket and adding the bag just turns it into something completely different. And I have a lot of respect for this look. Yeah. It's great. You could wear this like super dressy out mm -hmm. or like to a brunch casual. Yeah. Are you learning? I am. <laughs> Are you learning? She gets it. So one of the things that you said you wanted on our Zoom chat was you wanted leather pants. Yeah. So these are a faux leather. These are great. Very mm -hmm. realistic, because you know they're good for someone on a budget. Love the sneaker. Where are the sneakers from? Those are from Madewell. We don't have a lot of like branded flashiness, yeah. right? Very yeah. casual. The white top reads casual, but the fabric, a little slick. Silky, you, fancy. You can yeah. wear that with a pencil skirt mm -hmm. and the little jacket. I call it a shacket. You could like button it all up. You wear it with a skirt. You could do so many things. Ah, yeah, so many cute. things. <laughs> and what I love about doing an oversized clutch for day is mm -hmm. you can just like put your essentials in it and shove it in your bigger work bag. I like it. Yeah, it's cute. These pieces are decently priced, but they are more on the expensive side too. So if somebody wanted to put this outfit together, how would you do it more affordably? I always say to my clients, you want to buy the best quality you can afford. Mm -hmm. So those pants, I think they're like $98, which could be shocking to some people, but you're going to have them forever. Yeah, right? You want to think point. about cost per wear. You were even saying wearing this with like a skirt or something, or I could wear it, you know, with the Girl, did you just outfit. did you just try to tie that? I sequin? did. I'm just like tucking it. <laughs> Listen, I'm still learning, Lauren. She doesn't get it. When I see Jackie, I see such a bright, fun personality, and she wears a lot of very dark clothing. But so do I, so I don't, I'm not hating on it. But my soul is black, and yours is not, <laughs> you know? Okay. Well, I'm dark and brooding, too. I went with this white bodysuit from Zara, and I got these little flare jeans. I know Jackie loves a bell bottom, and I wanted to get more of like a boot cut. You don't wear a lot of pinks and stuff like that, so I went real subtle with the Adidas sneakers with the pink band. And I wanted to get her a lunchbox because <laughs> Jackie likes to eat, and I wanted to channel that fun side of her a little bit and get her something that she could take with her on the road. <laughs> I love this outfit because it is definitely me. You don't have to think. You put it on, you go, you look cute. You know what I'm saying? Like, you nailed it, like these jeans. Are me, but they're different. Mm -hmm. I go with darker washes. I love that it's lighter. And then also I love that I can wear these with um, tennis shoes mm -hmm. and they're not like super long because all the bell bottoms that I have, you wear them with high heels or like totally. a boot. You know, I love me a bodysuit. Can't go wrong with Can't a go suit. wrong with a bodysuit. And then a lunchbox. I mean, <laughs> I'm dying at Lauren's face with the lunchbox. You don't box. like the lunchbox? You've never styled anybody's outfit with a lunchbox before? No, <laughs> so never. Cute. God, please, no. Here's what you did right. Mm, okay, tell me. Silhouette, bang mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. like you really nailed dressing for her body type, which is hard to do. When you do that right, confidence. Like I can tell you feel really confident. That's kind of where it ends for me. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the thing about Lauren, she's going to keep it but I think a couple of little tweaks would elevate this because the goal, elevation, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Even if we added like a fun belt, Ooh. incorporate a little color or some texture, you know? The shoes with the pants are giving me middle school. That was the look in the eighth grade. I'm that like, was the Stop! look. <laughs> we, we don't want that look. I would go well, for what like- what the heck do you wear? I would go with a pointy toe flat. Oof, no. Girl! <laughs>
Whatever it is, it's not those. Okay. 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 The lunchbox has got to go. Okay. Oh. So it has got but to go. They don't call her Jackie Grubbs for nothing. It's the statement piece. It doesn't even look like a lunchbox. It, really, it, does, look, it does look kind of like, like a it's little backpack. Back back. yeah. That's why it's cute. It's a treat for everybody when you open it and they realize you brought the snacks. Snacks. This is really difficult because you guys style two different Jackies. Obviously, Lauren, what I love the most about yours is that there was like dimension to it. There was the jacket, the shirt, the pants, the ring, the bag, the tennis shoes, and it all came together really well. Sinead, you know me. I like to keep it simple. I like to keep it basic. <laughs> so you nailed something that I would absolutely wear multiple times out the week because it's easy and not a lot that I have to think about. With that being said, which one is more me? This, but who really killed it in the styling? Shanet, I'm sorry, you know I love you, girl. But I have to give it to Lauren because yeah. it was just, you know, the, you the know jacket, did this, it. and you everything. Did it. This is my glam look for Jackie. Gorge. This is for future Jackie. Like, this is Jackie she? who's getting all the awards <laughs> and getting all the attention. <laughs> She's a star. This color oh. is to die for. So star. something special about this dress. This is the same dress that Carrie wears in Sex in the City. Say it one more time for the people in the back. This is a Carrie Bradshaw oh! dress. Am I like gonna be in the next Sex in the City? What? And just like that, I found a glimmer of hope. I wanted to give you color, but not like screaming color. Yes. Yeah. So this is like a toned down orange. Yeah. We got the statement earring that kind of brings out the color. Jacket from Zara. And again, this is nice. a this is a good mm. jacket. This is a great mm -hmm. jacket. Right? We've got the celebrity drape. <laughs> Just throw this thing on. Oh gosh, gotta go. Right? Mm. And then the bag. So the bag has a strap or you can rock it as a clutch. Love that. And this is a dupe for a very expensive bag. Oh. Keeping the shoe pretty nude because we don't want something blocky to cut off the line but i think you look like money dollar dollar bills y'all i love me a bodycon dress mm -hmm. and you just elevated that for me so i love the color i love that you brought it up a notch with the earrings and then again like if i were styling this dress to be honest i would do a nude shoe and then i would probably do like a purse that matched it <laughs> and then called it a day i feel fancy I, I really love this and i feel like myself in it yeah i feel like the color the fit and just the way it kind of sits on her body it all feels very you yeah. like obviously it's a very expensive dress you can tell it looks really really good mm -hmm. and the color is to die for it's incredible for a designer dress it's not that bad but given that it's a designer here's a tip a dress like this when you're kind of sick of it and over it you can consign it and you can get mm -hmm. almost all of that money back. Really? Especially because it's like a Sex in the City dress, mm. highly coveted, that dress always sells out. You would get back more than half of what you spent and then oh, you can put it great. towards another dress. Oh, so, I love that, that's a good tip. A lot of people get intimidated when it's time for an evening look, like the stress of what do I wear at a wedding or what do I wear out to dinner. My number one rule is just get something that you feel comfortable in. Right. Like mm -hmm. this material, the silhouette, like you don't have to be worrying about your stomach or your butt. But if you're comfortable, then you get to radiate and your energy gets to show through. Mm -hmm. And it's not even about the dress, it's about you in the dress. Like a superstar. Does this mean that maybe <laughs> I could be your best friend? <laughs> best friends yep so for Jackie's last look I wanted to like hit again a couple of the things that I know Jackie loves but just change up some of like the colors and things like that so I went with a faux leather matching set I love a good cord I love the look I love the androgynous feel of it but it's also really sexy with the bralette and like a little bolo tie necklace type thing and then some studs and a little ring like very simple because I feel like a set like this just speaks for itself but I was really obsessed with this color. I love olive. I feel like it looks really good on you and you also wear a lot of like fall-esque colors. Yeah. I wanted to see like a little sexy Jackie. Wait a minute, a little peekaboo moment. Yeah. Uh, you know I love a good matching set. I can wear this jacket with so many different looks. I can wear these pants alone with so many different looks. And then you could wear it together and it's like boom, put out. Hey! <laughs> but I think you nailed it. I think this is very much, again, like my style, something that I definitely would wear, but elevated. It's cute. Wow, good job. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna give you your props. Thanks, girl. Appreciate it. It looks good. I love the color. Yes, yeah, the color's nice. You know, right? and I can tell you feel really good. I do. I yeah. feel I feel beautiful.
This round, I think, honestly, it's like head to head. Both of the outfits were amazing, and both the outfits I love. So if you like these pieces, you know we're gonna link them all below. Also, Lauren, thank you so much for coming in and giving us, you know, Seriously. the little elevation. So if you guys want to find Lauren or get any information from her, you know we got that link below as well. I love this round so much, and I love both looks, and I'm like, where am I going? I need to set up some kind of event because I got two outfits to wear. <laughs> but I loved it, and I really appreciate you guys keeping it true to who I am, but also so pushing me a little bit to try something new, so. Wow, well, you look fabulous. Yeah, you're so. a good model for sure. I'm not gonna pick a winner. Both y'all are winners in my book. Oh, I like both of the outfits. Okay. I mean, no, at least you got a hella ton of new clothes. Wait, you know? <laughs>